Hello, welcome to Biogrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Matthew Kereko Matthew Kereko Ahmed was a military and political leader in northwest of the former British colony of Dahomey, which is today known as the Republic of Benin. He was born on the 2nd of September 1933 and baptized in the Roman Catholic Church. He was a descent of the Somba ethnic group and attended St. Louis Secondary School in Senegal. He also attended the military training college Fregius in France and St. Raphael Military School in France. Kereko had quite a dramatic military experience. He served in the French army between 1960 and 1961. Afterwards, he joined the Daomi army at the completion of his one-year service in 1961. He studied in military schools between the year 1968 and 1970 in two countries, Mali and Senegal. Kereko was an aide-de-camp to a one-time military president of Dahomey, Hubert Maga. In 1967, Kereko was made the chairman of the Military Revolutionary Council after Maurice Condete's coup d'etat. Later on, he was ranked a major, including deputy chief of staff and commander of the Uida Paratroop Unit. In 1972, a coup was planned by some of his junior and senior officers. Before then, Kereko was asked by some of these officers to join them for the coup to which he obliged. Right after the coup, Kereko took over as the chief of staff. At the seizure of power, he asserted that he had not seized power as it was often a term used in the military then but that he had only collected the power back. His assertion got some attention because it reflected a new dimension in the militaristic philosophy of political power. Some Vodun believers thought he possessed some magical powers because he survived several military coups when he was in the army. Kereko, right from his early days in the military, had a motto, the branch will not break in the hands of the chameleon, which was symbolic and perceived as projecting his power and ability. Also, he was known with a slogan he used during his campaign, experience in the service of youth. In 2006, Kereko finally left office and stayed out of politics. In 1972, Kereko made an inspiring speech which put an end to the foreign influence in the education and culture of the Daomians. He made the announcement of a policy of national independence aimed at preserving the national interest of the people. He introduced some revolutionary changes into the political and economic life of Dahomey, adopting a Marxist-Leninist ideology in 1974. This brought about the change of the name of the country from Dahomey to the People's Republic of Benin in 1975. There was a peaceful transfer of power in 1991 when Kereko willingly stepped down for his opponent, Nisifor Soglo, in a multi-party poll. Through this, he showed that a political leader can accept defeat without violence. Kereko was given a global recognition as the one who ushered in a new era in West Africa. He, however, came back to power in 1996, winning over the Soglo. At his return to power, he was able to win a second term, another five-year term, which was recorded to be his last. Not many know about Kereko's marital life. However, there are unconfirmed reports that Kereko had a wife, Mrs. Kereko, who was caught in the act of adultery with a minister who Kereko allegedly shot in his attempt to escape half-naked. Kereko converted to Islam in 1980 while on a visit to Libya and changed his first name to Ahmed. The change of name from Matthew to Ahmed was with the sole aim of pleasing the then Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, to obtain military and financial support. He suffered a health challenge in 2014 and was taken to Paris for immediate medical attention. He regained his health after the treatment and suffered another health problem some months after, which led to his death on the 14th of October 2015. Kereko's net worth was estimated at $10 million. Did you know? 
Kiriko was nicknamed the chameleon right from the early days of his career. Dictatorial tendencies nearly dented Kiriko's popularity. In March 2001, he was re-elected for a second five-year term under some controversial circumstances. During his second tenure in office, his government was fashioned in line with the liberal economic path. His tenure witnessed Benin taking part in international peacekeeping missions in some African states. He was prevented from running for president in the year 2006 for two major reasons. Firstly, because he had already served two terms and also because he was already older than 70 at that time. At a national conference held in 1990, after the smooth transition to democracy, Kireko confessed his guilt and asked for forgiveness for the flaws of his regime. What's your take on Kireko as an African politician? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.